The Catholic Church teaches that people who depart from or reject a dogma are automatically severed from the Catholic Church without any declaration. There are many quotes one could cite on this matter. Here are just a few. Pope Leo XIII sat his cognitum. The practice of the Church has always been the same, and that with the consenting judgment of the Holy Fathers, who certainly were accustomed to hold as having no part of Catholic communion and as banished from the Church, whoever had departed in even the least way from the doctrine proposed by the authentic magisterium. He also says, Can it be lawful for anyone to reject any of those truths without thereby sending himself headlong into open heresy, without thereby separating himself from the church, and in one sweeping act repudiating the entirety of Christian doctrine? St. Augustine notes that other heresies may spring up, to a single one of which, should anyone give his assent, he is by that very fact cut off from Catholic unity. No one who merely disbelieves in all these heresies can for that reason regard himself as a Catholic or call himself one, for there may be or may arise some other heresies which are not set out in this work of ours, and if anyone holds to a single one of these, he is not a Catholic. End quote. Now, someone like Joe Biden is a heretic for many reasons, including his support for abortion, gay quote marriage, religious indifferentism, etc. Biden's support for gay quote marriage is heresy because it denies the teaching of scripture and the church that marriage is only between one man and one woman and that sodomitic acts are evil. Who do you love? Who do you love? And will you be loyal to the person you love? And that's what people are finding out is what, what all marriages at their root are about. Well, whether they're marriages of lesbians or gay men or heterosexuals. Is that what you believe now? That's you, what I believe. And Two White House staffers have a wedding day they will never forget. Brian Mosteller and Joe Maschi tied the knot on August 1st in a small ceremony surrounded by family and friends. And while most of the spotlight was on the happy couple, the man officiating the wedding probably received some attention as well. Current U.S. Vice President Joe Biden presided over Mosteller and Maschi's wedding, which was held at the vice president's home in Washington, D.C. A first for the VP. Vice President Biden posted about the ceremony on Twitter saying, quote, couldn't be happier. Two longtime White House staffers, two great guys. The idea that an eight-year-old child or a 10-year-old child decides, you know, I decided I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It may make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination. His support for religious indifferentism is heresy because it denies the dogma that outside the Catholic Church there is no salvation. We all uh, practice uh, um, the same basic faith, but different faiths. I happen to be a practicing Catholic. With regard to his support for abortion, and this applies to many other pro-abortion politicians who claim to be Catholic, what about the fact that he says that he's a Catholic and claims to accept the church's teaching against abortion in his personal life? Biden says that he's personally opposed to abortion, but that he simply can't impose his view on others. I've been a practicing Catholic my whole life, um, and uh, it has particularly informed my social doctrine. With regard to abortion, I accept my church's position on abortion as a, what we call, de fide doctrine. Life begins at conception, that's the church's judgment. I accept it in my personal life. But I refuse to impose it on equally devout Christians and Muslims and Jews. And, uh, I just refuse to impose that on others, unlike my friend here, the, the congressman. Uh, I, uh, I do not believe that um, uh, that we have a right to tell other people that women, they, they can't control their body. It's a decision between them and their doctor. Many other pro-abortion public figures give a similar explanation. How then is Biden a heretic on the matter of abortion in particular when he claims to be personally against it? The answer is that when he says the state does not have the right to outlaw abortion, he is teaching the heresy that the state does not have the right to outlaw murder and other notorious evils. Hence, the position of Biden and others, according to which they claim to be personally opposed to abortion but maintain that the state cannot forbid it, is an absolute form of the religious liberty heresy that was solemnly condemned by Pope Pius IX in Quante Cura. Biden's heresy, and this applies to many other pro-abortion public figures, that the state doesn't have the right to outlaw evils like murder slash abortion, was also condemned by the ordinary and universal magisterium of the church, as reflected in the teaching of Pope Leo XIII in Libertas and Immortale Dei, to name just a few. Pope Leo XIII Libertas, quote, Justice therefore forbids, and reason itself forbids, the state to be godless, or to adopt a line of action which would end in godlessness, namely to treat the various religions as they call them alike, and to bestow upon them promiscuously equal rights and privileges. 
Men have a right freely and prudently to propagate throughout the state whatever things are true and honorable, but lying opinions, than which no mental plague is greater, and vices which corrupt the heart and moral life should be diligently repressed by public authority, lest they insidiously work the ruin of the state." End quote. As we can see, the Church teaches that the state has the right, indeed the duty, to repress and outlaw evils such as murder slash abortion. To say otherwise, as pro-abortion public figures do, is heresy. So their subterfuge, according to which they claim to be personally opposed to abortion but maintain that the state cannot forbid it, doesn't excuse them from heresy. They rather commit themselves to an extreme form of the religious liberty heresy that was also condemned by the church. By the way, the heresy of religious liberty, which is at the root of Biden's false position, was officially taught by Antipope Paul VI and Vatican II. That further proves that the Vatican II sect, which currently operates under the apostate Antipope Francis, is not the Catholic Church. It is the prophesied end times counter church, as our material covers. Now, the non state vacantists, that is, those who think Francis is the Pope, typically hold that no one who claims to be Catholic can be considered a heretic until that person has been declared a heretic, no matter what the person says or does. That is nonsense, it is heresy. It is not Catholic teaching, as the quotes we just cited and many others show. The people who make that claim don't know what they're talking about. They don't make the proper distinctions, they don't have the faith, and their false position leads to the absurdity that people like Joe Biden and countless other radical heretics in the Novus Ordo sect who openly reject Catholic dogmas are to be considered Catholic. And I finally realized I just had to do it. And even though I'm Catholic, I believe in contraceptives, just like most of the Catholic women in the United States who report using contraceptives. Many, many of the, the people that are opposed to gay marriage cite their religion as the reason why they're opposed. But you're a Catholic that supports gay marriage. For example, here is one anti state vacantist admitting that according to his position, Joe Biden, who notoriously rejects Catholic teaching on marriage, abortion, etc., must be considered Catholic and not a heretic. That makes a complete mockery of Catholic teaching. This one is from Vatican Catholic. He says, is Joe Biden a Catholic who professes the true faith or a manifest heretic? It's kind of related to the one that we had. had right. Well, it's interesting about Joe Biden. Uh, Joe Biden claims that he doesn't believe abortion personally, but he holds it politically. OK, so he has deviated from the Catholic faith. But what did Joe Biden just say last week? He said, I'm a practicing Catholic. And so Joe Biden would be considered uh, a member of the church and not a manifest heretic, even though perhaps because of his position on abor abortion, he's committed a mortal sin against the faith. That is absurd and heretical nonsense. As we showed, the fact that Biden personally claims to be opposed to abortion doesn't excuse him from heresy. To maintain that people like Biden, who profess notorious heresy against Catholic teaching, are to be considered Catholic, simply denies the church's unity of faith. Pope St. Pius X, the church remains immutable and constant as the pillar and foundation of truth in professing one identical doctrine. Pope Leo XIII says that the unity of the church is a unity surpassing all else and having nothing like unto it or equal to it. Pope Pius XII says that those who are divided in faith or government cannot be living in the unity of such a body. Also, here is St. Robert Bellarmine, doctor of the church, commenting on the unity of faith that all members of the church have. Quote, Lastly, now all Catholics dispersed throughout the whole world think the same concerning all the dogmas of faith. Nor can they think otherwise since they all subject their own understanding to the understanding of one and the same supreme pastor directing the church from the chair of Peter with the council of other pastors. End quote. Of course, you can't make this statement, which St. Robert Bellarmine makes, about the Vatican II sect. The Vatican II sect contains countless people who notoriously contradict each other on basic and obvious aspects of church teaching. The group Catholics for Biden includes prominent pro-abortion leaders. Among those listed are California Attorney General Xavier Becerra, who prosecuted pro-life hero David Daleiden for exposing Planned Parenthood's traffic in aborted babies' body parts. Also, Carolyn Wu, former head of the Bishop's Catholic Relief Services, caught funneling hundreds of thousands of dollars to pro-abortion charities overseas. Joe Biden is vowing to force Catholics to cover abortions. On Wednesday, the Democratic frontrunner promised to reverse the Supreme Court's recent decision in favor of Little Sisters of the Poor, exempting them and other faith-based employers from being forced to cover contraception. Cardinal Dolan says he'd give Holy Communion to Joe Biden. New York's Archbishop made the comment in an interview with Fox News this morning. In a recent panel discussion hosted by Boston College, Cardinal Joseph Tobin had this to say. I think that a person in good conscience could vote for Mr. Biden. I frankly, in my, in my own way of thinking, have a more difficult time with 
with the other option. The true Catholic Church still exists with a remnant of faithful Catholics, as our material explains, but it's not the sect of Francis. Also, some of these heretics claim that the unity of the Church simply means that people recite the same Nicene Creed. That's completely false. The unity of the Church requires a unity on specific issues, which is why Pope Leo XIII teaches that to reject any of those truths, or to hold to one heresy, separates one from the Church. Pope Pius XII Mystici Corporis, quote, actually only those are to be included as members of the Church who have received the laver of regeneration and profess the true faith, end quote. Thus, if you consider Biden, Francis, etc. to be members of the Catholic Church, you hold that they profess the true faith, which is obviously false. I am absolutely comfortable with the fact that men marrying men, women marrying women, and heterosexual men and women marrying women are entitled to the same exact rights, all the civil rights, all the civil liberties. In fact, the members of the Vatican II sect not only notoriously contradict each other on matters such as abortion, gay quote marriage, etc., but they even contradict each other on whether Joe Biden is a Catholic. For instance, here is Michael Voris saying that Biden is not Catholic. To fake Catholic pro-child killing Joe Biden. And here is his organization on a different occasion calling Biden Catholic. Biden, a Catholic, barely mentioned Catholicism in his speech. Here is Michael Matt saying that Biden is an apostate. It doesn't necessarily extend to the radical, radical leftist Catholics, the basic apostates like Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden. But if they were consistent, they'd apply that principle, according to which people who depart from Catholic teaching are considered outside the church, to Francis and his apostate so-called bishops. But they don't, because they're not consistent, and they're not of the truth. Here is false traditionalist Taylor Marshall, who considers the idolater anti-Pope John Paul II to be a saint. St. John Paul II. Stating that he can't see how Joe Biden is a Catholic. Now, in the case of Joe Biden, he's actually performed a wedding... Let me get it for you here. He's actually performed a wedding for a same-sex couple. And I just don't see how you can say um, you're a Catholic when you're, when you're doing this kind of thing. Now, that is not consistent with his position that Francis and his apostate so-called bishops are Catholic. Marshall then contradicts himself again by indicating that he's not sure if Biden is part of the Catholic religion. Is this guy right here, Joe Biden, is he part of the same religion, the same church, the same tradition as Ambrose and Theodosius? They are inconsistent because they don't have the true position and they don't care about being consistent. They're not of the truth. Also, for Marshall to be unsure if Biden, who is a notorious heretic who supports gay quote marriage, among other things, is part of the Catholic religion, reveals that he doesn't have the faith. The Vatican II sect lacks the church's mark of unity. It is not the Catholic Church, but the prophesied end times counterchurch, as our material covers.